So we've touched on this topic in particular during some of our previous videos regarding graves in the can graves be redeemed video and in the story of the shadow company in the story of commander philip graves we've touched on the topic why did graves turn on general shepherd in the courtroom and that is a scene that maybe can be studied a little bit more watched a little bit more and kind of be i don't know what's the word that we could use here kind of picked apart a little bit more and we see general shepherd commander graves in court because they were apparently guilty of a blue on blue crime because the shadow company attacked task force one for one in mexico and because of that, they had a court hearing and someone was going to get in trouble, yada, yada, yada. General Shepard denies having any involvement and denies telling Commander Graves and the Shadow Company to attack United States allies, Task Force 141. He says he had no reason whatsoever to do that and he, he denies ever giving Commander Graves that order. Now, we know that General Shepard did give that order. We know that General Shepard wanted Task Force 141 eliminated. He wanted them out of the board to really clear his name and clear out anything that could come back to bite him in the ass, anything that could link him to the missiles and all the craziness that he's been doing over the last couple years with the Shadow Company and on his own. So he was just trying to cover his ass. So we know that he did it. But Commander Graves, when asked, did you act alone? Did you, you know, decide to attack him on your own? Or, or did General Shepard give you those orders? Commander Graves says, yeah, you know what? General Shepard did give me the order, but I did not act on it at all. I, I absolutely said, no way, I'm not doing that. Didn't act on it. And with that, you know, the courtroom kind of gasps a little bit. Kate just puts her head down and you see General Shepard being like, damn, this motherfucker. But what did he expect? What did he expect by betraying Graves right then and there? You know, and you, the game portrays this as like a dog eat dog world or no loyalty and people turning their backs on each other. So maybe the game still wants to paint Graves as some sort of rat, some sort of snake. And I've seen that in the comments a lot. A lot of people, you know, there's a, Graves has a lot of fans, me included. And a lot of you guys like Graves as well. But also there's some that are split in the middle, like they don't know how they feel about him. And then there's a vast majority that just don't like him. And that whole him being a snake, being a rat, kind of looking for his own benefit and trying to say, his own ass is a topic that is discussed a lot among the graves quote-unquote community or the modern warfare reboot community and i think because the game kind of wants to portray him as that a little bit and i think they try to portray him like that towards the end of modern warfare 2 where he starts talking shit about the military and how he says that being in the marines was holding him back and he had to shed that skin and become something better right you would perceive a person like that to be a rat or a snake and a traitor right and then you have him come out in modern warfare 3 and again save his own ass by saying that he didn't follow general shepherd's orders to attack task force one for one but what did you expect him to do and i think that that is a very valid question was he supposed to say oh no yeah general shepherd gave me the order and and i attacked yeah yeah and and, and then what happens he gets persecuted so does his team and he loses it all for what for a person that called him a dog on a leash for a person who honestly probably didn't even respect him all that much for a person that thought so little of him because if you really think about it i think the biggest rat the biggest snake the biggest asshole here is general shepherd the way that he speaks to kate laswell the way that he speaks to captain price the way that he spoke about graves behind his back in every situation that i see general shepherd is just a piece of crap and i think that graves knew that going in I think that Graves betrayed him not just to save his own skin, not just because he's a rat, not just because he's a snake, like some people in the fandom would have you believe, but it was because he knew what kind of person General Shepard was, and he knew that this little alliance that they had, this little partnership that they had was finite. It wasn't going to last very long. It had an end date. And we touched on this again before. But if we go back to Modern Warfare 2, when Commander Graves and the Shadow Company lost the missiles, you hear Commander Graves going berserk on the radio, wanting to get help for his squad. I Hey, let's get air support. We need them. My shadows need this. He was trying to save his men. And what did General Shepard do? He said, no, you know we can't do that. We can't do that. I, I, I can't authorize that. And he denied commander graves men help during an attack from the russian pmcs that we now know were connie and i think since that moment commander graves knew this mother 
character is a piece of crap and he's gonna burn me the second that he can so commander graves played along for a little bit because obviously he did have something to do with the missiles being stolen he needed to get them back and he needed to clear his name clear his shadow company's name from that and see kind of what happens next so he had to continue to work together with General Shepard for a little bit longer, but I think that Graves had an end date mark and he was going to get Shepard's ass. So I think that was a situation that really turned Graves off to General Shepard. And then we see Graves kind of getting along with Task Force 1 for 1 in Soap and Ghost. And, you know, we talked about how he may have not fully trusted the Mexican military or the Mexican special forces with Alejandro. So that's valid. But at some point during all that, you kind of see him building a connection with Soap. And I think General Shepard wanted soap and ghost to be eliminated and i might be mistaken but that's what i believe I, I believe that he said that he wanted them basically gone and he wanted alejandro and everybody associated with that gone so he wanted them to die but commander graves comes out and he tells him hey like bro just just leave you guys are done shepherd put me in charge of the operation you guys gotta get out of here let me handle it now bye he didn't come out and say all right i'm about to kill you bastards because general shepherd told me to he said i'm gonna let you guys go alejandro we gotta check your folk chill out we're gonna check you and then we let everybody go but we're gonna use this for now until we clear up what we gotta do he gave them the not benefit of the doubt but he gave them the opportunity to leave and it looks like to me that Shepard wanted them to die immediately. But Graves said, no, I'm going to give them the opportunity to leave. They can go on about their business. Maybe Graves would have dealt with Shepard later or talked to him later, but he didn't want to do that. Now his hand was forced when everything went down and it all got crazy. The shooting started, whatever, pride took over. And then I am not going to touch on the topic of him going and quote unquote massacring a town because I have to replay that mission again to really see the details of that. So we're not going to touch that, but not providing the help for his shadows. Shepard ordering him to kill Task Force 1 for 1 really kind of turned him off because then you're ruining his relationship with, you know, future, not maybe not friends, but, you know, partners that he could be with and to work and stuff like that. So it's messing up his relationship and his pride. So it's messing his relationships up as well. And then you move on to Modern Warfare 3. And they kind of work together a little bit more, but it looks to me like Graves and the Shadow Company maybe want to redeem themselves a bit by helping Farah and Alex, by stopping Kanye and Makarov from taking over Urzikstan. You know, he's kind of doing that stuff on his own as well. Shepard is somewhere around there, but really Graves is the one doing the dirty work. And I think through all this time and even Graves having to go undercover or into hiding for months after the incident in Mexico just pissed him off. He was pissed off to see him himself not running the Shadow Company and seeing his second in command man do it he was pissed off probably not being out there um and i bet he blamed general shepherd for all of it he blamed shepherd for messing with his time screwing him over getting his men killed screwing over his relationships causing him to lose precious time in the states and go under going to hiding i think graves blamed shepherd for all of these things so when we get to the scene of the courtroom and he betrays him quote unquote betrays him general shepherd betrayed philip graves a long time ago long before we ever made it into that courtroom and graves was just biding his time i do not think it makes him a rat or a snake to quote unquote again betray general shepherd when general shepherd was a piece of shit to everyone that he met and was really truly only looking out for himself graves knew that and he was gonna get that guy and like i mentioned in a previous video if captain price does not kill general shepherd commander philip graves would have done it because he would have cleaned up that mess and he would have been over it because graves was done with shepherd a long time ago and he was just biding his time to find the perfect opportunity to bury him he was gonna bury him in public and then he was gonna bury him for real and i think that's kind of why it happened i think that's why graves turned on Shepard because it was a long time coming and I think Graves knew what kind of person General Shepard was and he displayed it first. He wanted to save his own ass by sacrificing his quote-unquote partner, his quote-unquote friend, his quote-unquote guy. You know, that was his guy supposedly and it's BS. So I think Graves knew that from a long time ago and he's going to always take care of his man. He's going to take care of himself and he's going to keep it pushing because that's what he does. So that's why I think Commander Graves turned on General Shepard in the courtroom in Modern Warfare 3.